Have you ever wondered why Indian journalists do not go to the land of the UK and make a documentary on the British daughters or their poor people? Have you ever wondered why Indian media do not go abroad to make a documentary on American or European slums and highlight other nations' sufferings and problems? It is because Indians prefer to first fix their own problems and by doing that they set up a great example of practicing and not only preaching. They say that the 21st century belongs to Asia and within Asia the world has already started to witness the sensational rise of the ancient power India which in the 21st century will be reclaiming what rightfully belonged to them right through the human history. In my previous documentary on the economy of India I have already covered a lot of India's industrial sectors that are witnessing a great rise but India's growth story is more than that. There are many more sectors which are witnessing dramatic rise and have the ability to inspire the world. Food industry India, the country which faced 3 million deaths or even more during the Bengal famine by the hands of the British has come a long way and today it's setting up the largest food park in the world. India has bounced back from the food insecurities of the early post-independence era to the current India where in its cities governments are running budget meal systems like Jan Ahar where one could eat a full meal for just a few cents. And there are many other social welfare schemes like that. Besides, India's temples are also running cheap and organic food canteens where one could have nutritious and clean food in just one or two dollars or even free. Further, who could forget the great Sikh people of India who serve absolutely free food to everyone every single day at any given time of the day and not just to Indians but any human regardless of what country or religion they come from and not just that today Sikh temples have been providing free food for the poor British people on the land of the UK and in other parts of the world as well. Power sector India, which also has nuclear power plants, is now focusing on green energy as well. In case you are starting to worry that India will do what China and the USA did to the environment, here is good news. Even with its massive population and exploding growth, India comes nowhere close to the per capita carbon dioxide emissions of other nations. India is developing in times when the green energy technology is no big deal. India has already taken huge steps in order to be the green energy hub of the world. Did you even know that India has some of the world's largest solar power plants? Telecom sector India is currently the world's second largest telecommunications market. Did you know that Indian telecom companies are expanding to other parts of Asia and Africa already? Besides, in a few more years, India will emerge as a leading player in the virtual world with almost 700 million internet users out of the 4.7 billion global users, according to a report by Microsoft. Dairy sector. The indigenous holy cows of India are truly holy when it comes to the quality of their milk. Did you know that the indigenous Indian very cows produce A2 milk, which according to the scientists is considered the best type of milk for human consumption? It is not a surprise that Brazil, which is now a big player in dairy, realized it a long time ago and imported Indian breed cows. India has always been as one of the top milk producing countries in the world. Steel industry. India is a giant in producing crude steel. Did you know 
that it is already one of the top three largest crude steel producing countries and it is continuously growing even more. Coffee, tea and tobacco sector. India is one of the biggest exporters of its finest quality tea, which comes in many varieties. It is also witnessing a very interesting growth in coffee and tobacco production as well. Interestingly, some of it were introduced in India by its invaders. But then one can always say that India did not have to invade Brazil to introduce their A2 cows and did not have to colonize the world to introduce its yoga. Indian consumer market. The country with the official population of nearly 1.3 billion people has a super giant consumer market. India is not just about the rich or poor as your country's media is showing you. Its middle class is literally exploding with a very high purchasing power capacity. The good news is that a majority of its massive young population is fast getting urbanized. At the same time, India's government has realized that it is not going to sacrifice the villages of India during this rapid urbanization and will keep the soul of its villages alive. Road Infrastructure India already has the second largest road network in the world which is somewhere around 5 million kilometers. Indian government has been building mega highways for quite some time and is planning to add around 66,000 kilometers of road and it's targeting to build an astonishing 30 kilometers of road every day. Besides, how many of you actually knew that India is the largest exporter, producer of handmade carpets in the world? It is also one of the biggest exporters and producers of cashew nuts and cotton yarn. And it also has a booming chemical industry. And we must remember that all the money and economic wealth that India is earning is its hard-earned money, not an easy wealth generated by selling crude oil as many other rich nations. India will continue to serve the humanity in the world and will continue to play the role of the mother for the world by its both types of wealth, spiritual and economical. India is a country which is the only place in the world where all religions have been coexisting for the longest period of time. People of Indian origin who have settled outside India are the role models for any immigrants in the world because of their excellent discipline, almost no crime record, and for spreading love and humanity. Indians are perfectly mingling in the international society by participating actively in the foreign land's growth and are also sticking to their own roots and great culture by serving the mother India in so many ways. If you are wondering why no Indian made such kind of documentary or why the government of India does not promote its achievements like other countries it is because Indians do not believe in celebration until the mission is accomplished and their mission is not to colonize, loot or hurt anyone but bring the world together India is a spiritual and economic powerhouse which does not boast and that is why someone else who is not from India had to speak out in the end as I did and these are just the signs of a great nation who everyone criticizes. but India doesn't criticize others just to justify their own problems because India likes to be the change that it wants to see in others most of India's own problems are a gift from the invaders. But India knows that to make the world a better place, it has to grow not only economically, but it also needs a moral and spiritual growth, which further can lead to the organic growth of the world. As much before than the modern globalization of today, India had realized that the world 
is one big family. See you again.